All right, time for some Civilization VI. Well, let's get things started. Oh, it's a good, it's a Saturday, right? Wow, man, the time is flying by this this month. Already past the midway, midway point of February, which is crazy. Time flies when you're having fun or when things are going crazy, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, welcome anybody who is watching either live or on the VOD after the fact. I appreciate it both ways. And, uh, I don't know if there's much else to talk about except just get right into this and let's get going with some Civilization VI here. We're playing as Khmer. We are, we had to restart a couple times last episode, or last, uh, set because, um, we, we just kept running into very aggro, very strong, uh, neighbors. Thankfully, in this particular situation, we are probably going to be fine on the neighbor side of things because we got a couple of good choke points. We're actually potentially about to slip, flip Auk into ourselves, which is actually the only city that I was a little disappointed that we missed that spot for. But everything else, we should be able to fill out some spots. Uh, we might even be able to find some stuff down here uh, once we can embark a little bit. We'll see. But we'll definitely have a good number of cities. Maybe not the most amazing cities, because we we'll get a little bit of tundra up here, a little bit desert to the east. But we can make them okay, I think. Um, we'll just we'll figure it out. But uh, speaking of Aachen, I think one thing I do want to do is I actually want to switch over to uh, Food Focus. See if we can trim down the time here. Obviously, we do need to get a uh, house, or some housing situated here, which we don't have an easy way to do without getting maybe a builder to set up some farms, which could be a good way to do it. Or preserve, obviously. Preserve could ultimately get us some housing. Um, I think we'll go for the builder. Try to get us some farms set up, some other things. Uh, over here, also, we would love for you to kind of switch back over to food as well. Not really going to make that much difference here. You're currently building your... Um, holy site. Now, this is not a holy site next to a river, so it's not going to give us any housing from that. But we'll go with that. See if we get a little bit more growth. I think we shrunk this down slightly. A little bit more growth will help us flip off and just that much faster. All right. That is that. That's the only two things I want to change there, I believe. Um, all the other cities are kind of on default focus right now. Or you're still on production focus, which while we're doing settlers out, I think that's probably a good idea. So we'll stick with that. And we've got two campuses to be built for recorded history. Don't know if we're going to bother building campuses. I think we're going to go for a culture victory in this run. See what that does for us. All right, you already got Caravelle, Scotland. Doesn't surprise me too much. Scotland's a pretty, pretty strong. Now, I think we did just enter a dark age ourselves, which is going to make it a little bit, quite a bit harder for us to flip Aachen over here. Unless Germany, no, Germany's in a golden age, so... That, that should change the, the flipping. That should go away at this point, I would imagine. But that's all right. Um, we're going to have monument, monumentality, I think. Yeah, you're, you're completely fine now. So we are unfortunately going to get Aachen. We might get Aachen eventually. Not going to happen right now. But that's all right. All right, Galley, ready to go. Get you out on the open seas, doing some exploration for us. Got some research going. Um... Not a lot of stuff boosted right now. We are going to be mining a resource here in just a moment and mining an iron resource at that. So we definitely want to save the wheel and iron working for that. I um, guess we're going to go ahead and grab mathematics here. We're not really building another district right now, but we'll just kind of play it out as much as we can. Once we get this settler going, then we should be able to get a couple of those technologies that way. All right, nothing for us to do there. All right, another settler. I mean, definitely somewhere down here would be probably a good idea. I'm tempted to settle off the coast in this little desert tile because we could still put an aqueduct down here. 
now it's still it's a tall we would prefer not to aqueduct actually we can put an aqueduct this way and that actually would oh no we can't settle there anyway because it's too close to the other city so never mind um we can settle over here and aqueduct though hmm i can also just come down here and settle on this side of things It'd be kind of a blind settle because we don't know anything that's what's down here. Tempted to just do the blind settle. See what happens. Why not? Let's go for it. It might be a huge mistake. All right, you're going to go ahead and settle here. And we'll go ahead and get our builder ready to work on the iron mine. That'll give us a couple boosts that way. Um, we still got plenty of places to settle. So we're going to keep pushing settlers out until we just can't anymore. Uh, you're going to go right into a probably just a monument right away. Envoys. We can get Bandar Brunei up to three, but we don't have any banks. We get the first one for Namadal, so I at least get a little bit of culture, and that's probably exactly what we're going to do. Don't know if there's any point going to three. If we could go to four, we would, but we're not going to be able to just this second, so we'll hold off on that. Uh, You were coming up here to do something. I might just have you hook up the deer while you're up in this area. All right, Scotland's not happy with us. Not a big surprise. We do have a barbarian encampment up here now. With a skirmisher, of all things. That is actually going to be very rough. Because skirmishers are way tougher than um, archers. Don't reinvent the all right, that gets us the wheel. That gets us ironworking. All of that is really good. Um, could turn you into a swordman as soon as we get some iron. We might be doing that here in a bit. All right, um, what do we want you to do? I mean, at some point we want you to do the holy site for sure. That might be now. Do we want to swap off our quarter districts? Anything else we can work on? There is a few other things we can work on. I mean, we're not planning on being the target of a declaration of war. <laughs> it's obviously something we can't plan for. Uh, I mean, a campus in this city is going to be something that's going to be good for us eventually. Just because of the mountains, I like to get a little bit of a boost from that. And we do need a campus at some point. I don't know if that's, this is the time or the place to do it right this second. Just from a production standpoint. Obviously a holy site. Man, a holy site up there would be amazing. Holy site down here would be obviously really good as well. But we definitely want it to be next to the river. So honestly, we're probably going to chop that forest and put the holy site there. Uh, no, we're not. Because that's going to be where you put yours. Probably need to buy out to this tile and put the holy site on the other side so that we can put two of them side by side here. That is most likely going to be the plan. Okay. Well, in that case, hmm. Honestly, a builder is kind of ne needed here. Ugh. I mean, we're we're okay, but definitely definitely need to get things moving a little bit better. Who is this down here? I'm actually not sure who that is down there. So we got the iron mine. You're going to hook that up. That's going to be good. Um, I guess we can hook up a mine on our way out. We might bring you down here to help this city down a little bit. Who is this? I don't remember. Is that Norway? Should still be able to settle city here, though. So I think we're going to keep pushing that one down for now. It's not a great tile, but this city is not going to be a great city, quite frankly. It's a very strategic city more than anything. All right, mathematics is ready to go. Pushing our way up to um, Crossbowman is kind of a big deal right now. So I think we will do that. Nah, uh, we're not doing, warning, drawing, warring anybody right now. Sorry, my friend. All right, you're going to come down here, and I think we need to do something down in this area. Probably just plop, plop a mine here on this Grasslands Hills tile that we're definitely going to be using. I... England. Okay. Oh, you are literally right there. Okay. That is interesting. Can we be friends, please? 
I'm, I'm wet already, you see. To England. Fair enough. No, actually, these archers are pretty strong against the skirmisher after all. I was worried for nothing. I mean, if he had shot us, he would have done some good damage too, though. I mean, a good, great work of riding early on is actually not bad. It's a bit more culture. Uh, of course, we're going to start getting things coming in. Now, this is where things are going to get pretty unfortunate. Because obviously, a pikeman is and a muskman are stupid strong. And they're going to tear up all of our improvements and everything's just going to get bad. Uh, you need to go... You're going to be fine. You can go down through there. That's okay. Oh, yeah. We're, we're just completely dead here. Again, I think it's a little stupid that the Barbarians are the strongest technological civilization in the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's just wrong. <laughs> they should not be the strongest technology. You should be able to outpace the Barbarians at some point, right? You should be like, all right, they, we, they get left behind, you know? But it's not how it works. All right, builder here. Man, I do need some farms for some housing. I mean, honestly, just a couple farms over here might be all right. I mean, the housing's not going to help us now because he's obviously perfectly fine on loyalty. But the next time, you know, there's a there's a chance we want to make sure we're in a position to be able to do something there. Uh, settler here, I guess you're going to try to escape down this way to get over this way. I mean, I guess we'll grab walls here because it's only going to take three turns and we're going to need them. Uh, I mean, if we get crossbowmen, we're going to be fine, but we got to get there first. You are going to do what? I mean, I still need to get your holy site, which we need to buy up to that tile, most likely. I mean, are we just going to chop the forests? Probably. Or we could come up this way and let this guy have the, the forest chop in there. That would work as well. Yeah, that's probably slightly better. Let this guy have that one. All right, we'll go for the shrine here. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> we're so dead. We are so dead. Oh, it's not fair. Why are the barbarians so strong in this game? They should not be this strong. I hate barbarians. I really should just play without barbarians from now on. They, they are literally... They take the fun out of the game for me personally. <laughs> Oh, goodness. We never did a watermill, huh? I mean, you definitely need both food and production, so that's going to be maybe a little bit helpful there. Invincibility lies in the defense. All right, start pillaging my stuff, please. I mean, I know you're going to. Just get it over with. Yeah, maybe a mine on this hill would be okay for now. All right, finish that civic straight up because we were, I had, you know, we weren't expecting to get declared war on. We already have feudalism boost. We might as well go for that. Governor title. I mean, a victor to help us a little bit in our capital. Probably not though. Really, we need to keep getting uh, Liang up. And although Liang's not in Angkor Tom at the moment, she's down here. So we might need to swap her around. Because we want her to get reinforced materials just so we don't have to worry about the uh, volcano stuff anymore. We'll do that. We'll bring you over here to here. And we're about to do a chop down here. It's not much, but we might as well move you down there if we're going to do a chop anyway. Pre-envoys. Unfortunately, we can't get an Amadol now. So no point in sending any envoys anywhere. We'll just sit on them for now. Where do we actually want this city to be? Kind of thinking over here might be better. Let's see. One, two. We just moved that city up a little bit further, which not, eh, that might not be that great, actually. One, two, three, four. This actually would be allow us to put the city there still. All right, we'll go for this spot. It's fine. 
It's a bit of an aggressive settle on her. And we are going to want to buy out at least those two tiles. But it's going to be a good city, I think, in the long run. Doesn't have a river. Although, oh, you know what? We're going to buy one more tile because we definitely want a place next to a river to be able to put our holy site down. All right, so we at least have a place for a holy site now. So this actually still will be in a decent a decent city. Um, chop that at some point, put an aqueduct if we had to, but hopefully we can avoid an aqueduct here. Of course, the pillaged. I'm not surprised. This is garbage. Oh, I should have did that the backwards order, but that's okay. Um, you're going to take, I guess, Bali. Four turns till we get some crossbowmen. Grab the water mill here. I have to get a builder here in a bit. Uh, you're going to go for a monument right away. Hopefully stretch out a little bit. I'd like to stay friends with you, my friend. Would you let me, please? More people we can stay friends with, the better. Because, you know, we're planning on being pretty peaceful for most of the game here. I wish I could talk to you now, <laughs> because I was just going to settle that city and then go talk to you. <laughs> Can we talk to you now, please? We'll promise not to settle anymore. Now? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I got that city down. Oh, well. Looks like we never set up the cows over here. We'll go grab those. I need a granary right away from you. Uh, looks like we do have enough for your swordman, which swordman's not going to be that great, actually. We'll go ahead and upgrade it, but it's not going to be very helpful up here. Not against musketmen, because again, somehow, barbarians have the best technology in the game. <laughs> which makes no sense and annoys the crud out of me. I um, guess we'll put a mine down here. be a setting that I can turn that off because I would leave barbarians on if they weren't just automatically the best technologically advanced unit in the game. Hey Captain Dodo, how's it going? Uh, I play Farming Simulator on Wednesdays, Noah. So... Come back on Wednesday and you'll see some farming simulator. Oh, goodness. I hate barbarians. <laughs> have I mentioned that before? I have played both EU4 and HOI4. Yep, OE4. I've played both. I personally prefer EU4. I just, I don't know, it just makes more sense to me. But uh, I just, it's probably just because I haven't had much time to play OE4. Alright, we're doing a turn to crossbowmen here. Um, I guess we'll go up to man at arms, so at least we have something that maybe be able to fight off against those musketmen a little bit with our swordman unit. In democracy. <sighs> of course. Not getting better, but there are no really no replay to it, just the same over and over. Yeah, I mean, I guess for me, Holy Four would still be fun because I haven't played it enough to run into the issue that you're running into. I mean, I would love to repair things, but there's no point. They're just going to pillage them again. So let's grab the monument while we're chilling. 
you are going to go for a granary so you can keep growing. Alright, crossbowmen are going to save the day here. <laughs> Quite a bit. But I put a mine here. Wait, what? <laughs> Pretty sure I put a mine here. Because I remember it being two, 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 and two. What is going on? I mean, we'll put another one, apparently. Oh, did the tornado come through and tear everything up? That's probably what happened. I didn't, that wasn't paying attention to where the tornado was going. Again, there's really no point in repairing anything while bad things are happening. I guess we'll just go into a settler for a few ticks. But a few cycles on that at least. Builder is done here. We do want to go ahead and get the holy site soon. But I also need to save the money for the other uh, archer here. So we can't buy this tile just yet. Grab some walls just just might as well. You're actually losing loyalty over here. Eh, barely. Once you start growing, you'll be fine, though. You need to get away from the crossbowmen. Or go next to the crossbowmen. You know, whatever you decide to do. All right, get rid of some of those a little bit. That's good. It's a granary here. Definitely need to get a builder out of uh, Angkor Tom very soon. Oh, my goodness. Just go away, Barbarian. Seriously. Please stop existing. I mean, we're not building two campus any anytime soon, so we'll just go ahead and push through that. Uh, can't flip any of these, so no point in putting envoys there. Um, let's go holy site. I doubt it's going to pass, but you never know, and we'll say us, because why not? Even though we don't need it, because <laughs> we already got culture bomb ability. Hey, we protected ourselves with Liang. Good for us. Start moving you up here just because as soon as you become a man at arms, we can do something with you. All right, we're going to do the mine again. That time it worked. Uh, just come down here somewhere, my friend. Like, just get away from all the baddies, please. Um, let's see here. I mean, we need housing, but don't really have an easy way to get housing right this second. Let's go for the Prasad, I guess. I have to buy out to this fish so that you don't get it. There is no easy way to train in the prep history, is the very Um, I mean, at some point we're going to want Pangala. Moksha could also be good for what we're going for. Uh, there's also the idea of just getting uh, Amani out, just out and about, ready to do something with some of these city-states. Districts next to coast or lake tiles? I mean, we're going to have a few of those eventually. Not right this second, though. So getting Damodal eventually would be good. 
I don't know. I think we get Liang over to Bandar Brunei and we'll just kind of start working on that. If we get her set up in Bandar Brunei, we can actually um, flip that. Not Liang, sorry. Uh, Amani. with the heart. <laughs> Eventually we're going to deal with this stupid barbarian encampment. You can upgrade to a man at arms. Might as well. Makes you at least a little bit tougher. Maybe go after some of these guys. Hey, promotion. I mean, given the situation, I think Aerostorm does make the most sense. You have one build. We can't afford the tile that we want to chop yet, though. We just put a lumber mill down, I suppose. I'm just gonna, I may just do another mine for now. I mean, we're going to eventually replace it, I think. But for now, it'll work. You're literally never going to go away. Alrighty, for you... Hmm. I mean, we could go ahead and put your holy set down here that we're wanting to get eventually, so we might as well. The taxpayer. That's some. All right. Switch Anchor Tom over to a builder real quick. Because we will need to do that. And I think we can start repairing some of our stuff. Start with the holy site. Let's do it. Um, actually, let's do the builder first, then the holy site repairs. Have we really not built two temples yet? We should be working on it, though, right? That's our second temple there, Prasat. So we should be able to get that one. Would like your holy site. Probably right down here, honestly. So we might need to wait till we can get 100 gold. Grab that. So for now, let's put some time into some walls. Walls, it does equal tourism at some point. So not that bad of an idea. Uh, I kind of want to just back you up. Make sure you don't die here. You, however, can move up and start shooting this guy. You can move over here. Walls are done here. We also want to grab your tile. Let's grab us another builder. Probably going to chop this forest and even, maybe even this forest. Uh, we will buy this tile here in just a moment. Where's your border growth? Actually, eight turns to border growth. That's actually almost perfectly timed for us. You can go exploring, my friend. Actually, can we upgrade you? I don't remember if we've got the tech to upgrade you yet or not. I thought we got it with crossbowmen, didn't we? Oh, hey, Scotland will be my friend. Nope, not an ounce. <laughs> you know, little, little button clicky. Uh, we can. We should not have gold. Okay, so we'll hold off on that. We'll get you upgraded here in a moment. You're going to go ahead and get healed up. You're going to follow up. Kill that thing. You're going to take it finally. And man, that barbarian encampment cost us a lot. But it's gone now. And I think we're going to move you over here to this hill to kind of get some vision over here. Uh, we'll probably move you... Maybe up to this forest to get some vision up there. And that should cover us all with vision. We shouldn't get another barbarian encampment. We do have some apostles coming out, which is not great. And I, just, I haven't even been paying attention to my apostle stuff. So we definitely need to get us an apostle out. Wait, why can't we get a... 
Why can't we get an apostle? Oh, because we were damaged. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. I know we got the building. We're just damaged currently. So we'll have to get it here in a moment. Now we might lose our capital here, which would be garbage. Uh, who is this? This is England. You're doing Protestantism. Yay. Um... I mean, I almost, almost need to declare water just so we get rid of her, her stuff, but we'll play it out for now. Okay, so that does mean we need to repair our stuff quicker. Those barbarians are going to cost us so much, because if we could get an apostle out right now, we could we could deal with some of this. But the barbarians prevented that. Yeah, we're going to lose this stuff. That is not good. The stirrup in the ground, mercy I asked. Yeah, we're about to lose everything. Wow, that's garbage. All right, repair the shrine. Go away. You don't have our religion yet. You're not currently going to get it. You have our religion, but it's going away. You do no longer have a religion. Hmm. That's not good. That is not good. I need 30 dipple favor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Spike from you. <laughs> We're going to buy your dipple favor to try to ask you not to promise to convert my cities. <laughs> and you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Hmm, that's annoying. I did not even see her sneaking through there. I was too distracted by the guys, the barbarians. That is very annoying. I don't think there's anything we can do. I think we're we're completely screwed out of our own religion. Which is really bad for us, based on what I wanted to do. Um, ha, 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 if we can make this work. Yep. Okay. That means she can't convert us anymore, right? <laughs> right. That's what that means, right? <laughs> well, it's been a while since I've really paid attention to the religious one. Usually I just do it as like a, it's a placeholder. Oh, on cities dominated by our religion. So it's not going to matter for the ones that she's already converted. That is sad. All right, let's go and get the Prasad here. That's on me for not paying attention to her while she was doing her thing. Let's get us a ally or a thing here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put one into Bologna as well. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. We're, we're completely screwed. Ugh. That's 100% on me. Not paying enough attention. <laughs> That's annoying. 
Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, we didn't even get our second temple for divine right. I have just messed this game up. My goodness. I got so distracted by the barbarians. I have messed everything up. That's very disappointing. I really don't want to have to restart the game again. We've, we've, we actually were in a decent spot. I mean, could I make it play out from here? Sure, but it's just going to ruin an entire aspect of what we were going to do. Which is sad. I mean, the only hope we have would be to, to stop her from coming up here, but we just can't do that. We can't stop her. And find some way to get a holy site here. Um, eventually. But she's just going to slip up here and convert this, isn't she? Yeah, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. She's just got to flip that and she's done. I mean, there's a slim chance that if this city over here got our religion, which I don't see happening, um, then we could do something with that, but it's just too far away at the moment. Colonia wants a trade route. Um, if we send you up to here and then send the trade route over here, we, we might help us a little bit. That is our only hope. Need to get this tile here in a turn or so we'll get a holy site down crossbow is just going to alert trade route is going to go over here to mahin whatever give us a little bit more of our religion pressure if by some miracle we can flip this which is not going to be easy then we we might be able to get some apostles out of there Not really much I want to do with you at the moment, my friend. I want to wait for this one turn here. I guess we'll just put a turn into something. I conclude then this point touching upon the power. I don't want the meeting house. <laughs> I would rather get the other thing. So we're gonna hold off. Hope that we can eventually convert this back. Up to 320, but Catholicism and Protestantism are both going faster, which probably means they're going to get the next point first. Uh, 
But I thought she didn't exert pressure on us. If it's oh, it's not dominant. It's not dominant for us. We have the most, but it's not actually dominant on us yet. All right, fair enough. Uh, you need to get this tile as soon as possible, because we want that so that we can put a holy site there and get you. You might be able to get an apostle out at some point. I mean, we'll grab Maranaki, because why not? For now, at least. Let's try Inquisition with one Apostle Charge. Our relation is plus... You know what? That's actually... Might come in handy here in just a moment. I mean, the science penalty is pretty bad, but otherwise... It is not bad at all. Uh, Republican Legacy might be worthwhile. Obviously, we do like the production, though, as well. We do have a few more settlers to build, but I think we're going to put this in for all of our cities, having a little bit of a boost. Could also reduce the cost of purchasing some tiles. Only one more tile that I desperately want to purchase right now, though. Alright, you're chopping this. Let's get us another builder out. Who's gonna come up here and repair some of the stuff for us? You're just chilling here for now. I'm gonna plop your holy site down here. Actually got an extra pop that turned into the Pantheon. Still not getting our our specific one. Mm. Alright, monument done over here. You didn't get your builder. Is that because this thing was pillaged? That must be why. Okay. That's annoying, but... Or was... Yeah, I think that's why. I'm gonna get the walls just set up. Rocks in my path. <laughs> One more gold. And we can buy this tile. Probably Grandmaster's Chapel, but I don't know if that's the best thing we want right now. Honestly, we probably just want to go ahead and pump up the next settler. The last city or two down that we need. Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession. So that in the All right, see if we can get that holy side out. If we can get that holy side out, we might have a slim chance here. Grab emissary, but it's not going to be critical right this second. Later on, if this if if he flips back to being uh, dark age, then that would actually be helpful for us. Uh, I think we assigned Moksha in this little tiny city up here <laughs> and get a little bit more religious pressure going out, maybe. I mean, we're getting zero pressure here because of, yeah, that makes sense, right? We know that's gonna, that was going to happen. 
I don't know if it'll affect the city down here or not. It probably won't. Unfortunately, we'll have to stop our alliance with her at some point in order to be able to uh, flip back the, the, the stuff. Uh, we can put a city there. It's not a very good city, but it does. It's actually not a really good city at all. And then we can put a city over here, like on the hill where he's at. I mean, these are just cities to have cities. And they can exert some... Like, we can do some tourism stuff out of there, which can be helpful. Oh, wow, we're already in another age. All right, we got to start building some other things. Then we got, do we have enough settlers out? I mean, we technically have, you know, I'm going to keep pumping the settlers until we can't anymore at this point. Some more faith coming in. Might be beneficial at some point. I don't think you're going to get it, buddy. Or you. This is not going to be easy. Chop the forest here. To help speed that up a little bit. Go away! Oh, I hate you so much. I hate you so much. You literally just sat there this entire time, did nothing. And then you decided to sneak up here and cause problems. Well, the alliance did not help me. Well, well, well. That is very frustrating. Because we're definitely not going to get the city anything now. I wonder why she just sat there the whole time. They did, not, did nothing. <laughs> like, I genuinely don't want to continue this game now. I'm so mad. Oh, I'm so mad. I mean, we can absolutely still win the victory we're going for, but I was having fun with the whole build up tall and things like that, getting the housing and the food going. Very, very mad. Oh, I don't know what to do. I kind of just want to restart because I'm not happy with that at all. Like, I've won challenging games before. I don't want to win a challenging game. I want a fun game. <laughs> I've done the Khmer where everything went wrong. I don't want to do that again. That was a that was a very long run. Took forever to win that game, but we did win it. I want the Khmer where everything goes right. I just want, I did not even see her sneak in here. That was just on me. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think the only way I'm going to have fun with this game is to do it the way I want to do it. Like I said, could I win this game right now? 100%. There's no no doubt in my mind I could win this game as is. It's just... <laughs> why? <laughs> why win a game that I've already won? I want to win a game that I have fun with. I'm going back and forth. I'm trying to decide... Because I know for 100% fact we can win this game. 
weekend apps to win this game. <laughs> I just so maybe I just take it and just win it and be done with it. Move past Khmer, realize that I made mistakes and just didn't get to have the fun that I wanted to have. Because this combo was going to be really nice. I mean, amenities, housing, food, housing, food, ho faith, food, housing. We were going to have such tall cities. Just once I start putting some farms down in a few places, things like that. We're going to flip Aachen, apparently. Very quickly, actually. Did you get into Dark Age or something? You are in a Dark Age. All right, I guess I'm going to keep going. It's, it's it. I'm not going to enjoy it, but I will keep going. We'll just win the game and move on. Uh, if I put the theater square next to an entertainment complex, that'll give us a little more culture from that. You just stick it here next to the capital. We'll renew our friendship with you. That's going to be fine. In diplomacy, there are two. I don't know that we're building an aqueduct anytime soon. Our build order got out of whack. Oh, did you find another target? You, you, you're you swooping in on the target? The unsuspecting target over here? Like, we can't do anything here, right? Like, literally nothing. Yeah. Here comes Scotland with Catholicism. I think I was going to get rid of that one at some point. Really? Go oh, away. We'll have your titty, city flipped in just a moment. That's uh, going to take a little bit longer.
Well, we're not having four cities following our religion anytime soon, so I guess we can finish that up. Well, is there even any reason to finish that up? Actually not, is there? Let's do the medieval stuff. We'll take the plus three. This will get Aachen back. <laughs> <laughs> Which again was one of the things I was annoyed by earlier. Oh, you didn't get a builder either. I just realized because you did not have, um, we didn't have the thing built back up. Finish walls. Um, guess we need to get your builder that you missed out on. <laughs> as soon as we get a city, he pounces, or she pounces, I should say. Oh, she's vicious. All that glisters is not good. We'll grab this just to help speed that up a little bit. Just get that city on into our world here soon. I didn't mean that, that, but it's all right. Go away, dude. Go away. You must not lose. A lot of boosts there. Uh, let's get you some. I uh, guess we have to deal with that thing. Lingered over. Uh, we'll get you a granary. That's fine. We'll get you that hooked up. That's good.
Oh, I'm so annoyed by <laughs> I'm just still sitting here. I'm just beyond annoyed by the situation. The pen might not be mightier than the sword. <laughs> the one the two tiles that we don't have vision on. You popped up. Of course you did. Four envoys, nothing to do with them. We'll sit on them. Would love to go to war with her just so I can get rid of all her apostles and be mean for a minute, but <laughs> I don't think that would serve any purpose. It would just be me throwing a fit for a minute. Ten cities. This is a really good number of cities. I can just shake off my frustration, which I am definitely still frustrated. Um, then I actually think we can pull this off pretty pretty quickly. All right, whatever. We'll just ignore. We'll just accept the fact that we just don't have a religion. It is what it is. It's annoying. Was going to help us get these cities up to twenty pop pretty easily. Now that is not going to happen. Really, dude. Goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I will ever play with barbarians again. You know what I would do? I would play Rome with Caesar, who gets benefits from barbarians, and I would turn barbarians off at this point. Because I, I just hate them so much. Go away. All right, you know what? I, 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 I'm obviously just not even in it anymore. So we're gonna restart. Ah, I'm not in it anymore. That religion thing just bummed me out so much. Oh, I need to. No, oh, I can't restart now. Oh, oh, I was gonna turn off barbarians. I cannot play with barbarians anymore. They're if they if they worked like barbarians should work, where they didn't have they were not the most technologically advanced units in the game, then I, I'd accept them. They'd be fine. But being the most advanced technology units in the game is just kind of silly.
to although I do like to start <laughs> I say that it's not a bad start lots of river coffee and tobacco all right fine we'll play the start out <laughs> I jump in and I'm like you know what there's a lot of good food here we could actually make us get ourselves a place where we can grow pretty good Honey over here as well. My goodness, this is an olives. Okay. All right. That just guarantees that we're going to have some big baddie next to us. Like two tiles away. <laughs> it's just going to ruin my, this wonderful start here. Wolin. Well, a city state up that direction means there's not going to be a city, you know, civilization like right here. They might be further up and they might be over here, but you know, sometimes it's good to find city states. City states takes up space, right? As far as uh, where civilizations can spawn. Extra pop is actually really nice. I mean, I definitely want to go for the settler, but I think we go for the slinger like I usually do. Then we'll do the settler right after. Another city state. That's actually really, really good for us. And we found the cliff. Okay, this is this is this is starting off nicely. Now, does Cliffs of Dover Dover have to be on a uh, ocean? Do we have ocean over there? Maybe. Russell's up here means there could be a civilization over here, but there's not, at least not going to be anything up until it's way up here somewhere. So this gives us some defense and some just protection or some some cushion, which is really nice to see. Our Baron encampment up that way. Cliffs of Dover is on the coast. Okay. I mean, there's most likely a civilization off to your east. Maybe one southwest if there's enough space. Another... Okay, yeah, you're here. That's fine. But you're down there. That's okay. I can deal with you being down there. Especially if we can be friends. Can we be friends? Probably not. We are surrounded by city-states, which is actually a really good thing in the grand scheme of things. All right, we're going to bring you down here. Backtrack a little bit. I mean, obviously, we'd like to settle down on this way. We definitely want to get started on the settler right away. He's going to not like us. That seems like that's just going to be the way it is. Goody Hut. Okay, I'd like to get a city over here by Cliffs of Dover. And then we can kind of settle up in this area. That would be perfect. Uh, we're going to go for animal husbandry. We're going to have to get some archers here soon. Defend against him for sure. Did I have another goodie hut somewhere? Did I, did I forget one? <laughs> Tribal village. You're going to go there. You can kind of make your way up there, maybe. Okay. I think that's all we had. All right. I thought I, was, I thought I had another one somewhere. It is not wisdom, but... All right. Let's go that. Let's go faith in gold. We could build the... Uh, the... Uh... What am I trying to say? Stonehenge. We wanted to get that rolling. Rivers down here. This is... This is... Very doable. Oh my, a barbarian encampment right next to us. That's annoying, but not impossible for us to deal with. More pop. Wow. Fortunately, that's going to mess up this settler being able to get out there and do what we want him to do. In. 
right, we're going to have to bring the scout down here to help out, I think, with this mess. All right, so you did put a city up there, so we should still have a space for a city up here somewhere. That's not what I wanted. <sighs> Hit the wrong button. Um, oh, we can put Stonehenge up there, huh? Yeah, okay. I wasn't even thinking about that. Why not? I think I'm not gonna be able to get a kill, unfortunately. Um, yeah, right there where that guy is actually kind of is where I would want to be. So you're gonna come out this way, and we're gonna plan on going there as soon as we clear that out. If the AI will let us, hey, we will get our kill. Perfect. All right, we cleared it out. Not a big deal. We still have a chance to get over there. You're going to go ahead and take your promotion. Wizard Rainforest makes sense. Pantheon, we're going to grab the River Goddess, and like usual. Try to go really, really tall. aspect of trade. Could you please move Johannesburg? You're, you're not moving, are you? Wow, you're going to be a jerk. Johannesburg, move. I'm about to declare war on Johannesburg just so I can kill his unit and get it out of the way. That is annoying. Thank you. My goodness, dude. Kamasi over here. We can get a couple cities over here between Chiclisto Dover and Johannesburg. That'll probably push him southeast at least. Now we are going to have to build up some units, unfortunately. Because we know he's going to be coming for us here very, very, very soon. It's inevitable. In fact, you're going to have to just go straight into an archer, I think. Actually, no. I really need to get the mine so we can push out borders. We can buy those, I guess. We'll get the archer out. More than likely, what he'll do is he'll buy units, probably from Johannesburg or somebody like that, whoever he can get Susan with first. He'll buy units from somebody and use those to attack me. Because he's going to have lots of money. Actually, I actually haven't killed another Barbarian to get the bronze working. That's, that's unusual for me. Told you. 100% told you. I knew it. No surprise at all. And did he get Johannesburg units yet? 
Uh, no, he got no. He's gonna get Nasca units, I guess. I don't know where those are at. But I definitely, definitely knew that was gonna happen. There are no surprises with the DAT AI. <laughs> surprise war. Yeah, that's not a surprise war, my friend. We knew that was coming. We did get Stonehenge there, which is pretty cool. Alright, go right into some archers. Good thing is this is relatively defensive right here. Uh, what is it? Our dome, dome race? <laughs> Might as well continue that. Uh, we'll go feed the world for the food and housing. And we'll go to the Gudwara. We're going to do the same thing. This time we're going to try not to lose our religion. We're going to try not to be a three. Uh, a, 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 that's a me in the corner, I should say. I was going to say three in the corner because I watch too much uh, Cracking the Cryptic YouTube channel. <laughs> if you guys don't know that reference, then I don't know if I should tell you. It's pretty funny, though. Um, honestly, we're just going to fortify you. We're going to keep attacking out of the city, I think. Considering he has to follow these guys in one at a time, I'm not super scared right this second. You can fortify. You can defend off against a warrior pretty easily. He does have a lot of units. And again, I'm assuming he bought units from somebody. I like to say I practice military. Honestly, I think I'd rather beat up on the guy back there. He'll kill himself against, you know, against me here. Should be able to take one more hit there. Got a couple of archers coming out. That will help a lot. Um, we already got the unit production from there, so we'll probably grab just the just the straight up production for buildings and wonders and things, maybe, or just the culture. Honestly, the culture would be nice. All right, Archer needs to kill off this guy so he doesn't get away. You don't have a promotion, so you're going to have to run away, unfortunately. Two turns on another Archer. He's attacking the city, but I'm not that worried about it. One turn on another Archer. Probably need a warrior now, or a trader, just to be able to get a little bit of a road here, maybe. Get the warrior. If we get a little bit beefier, then it'll make us look better, and he might be more willing to peace out. We do have a barbarian encampment up north of us, unfortunately. Are you stuck because of the mountains? I think you are stuck, Mr. Scout. Funny thing is, the AI sometimes declares war on you, even if they're not in a position for it to be a good war. Like, <laughs> it's just the thing that they do. We might need to send this archer up here to deal with this mess, because it's about to start popping some stuff. We might have to send the archer and the warrior up there. We're about to get another archer here in Angkor Wat. I feel like Angkor Wat is going to be fine defensively. So yeah, we're going to go up this way. All right, what do we want to build out of here? I mean, do we want to just get another archer? A third archer? We are going to need a third archer there, I guess. Let's go get the trader. Oh, you know what? We're probably going to build a, get a third barbarian here soon. Let's switch you over to... Push up towards a riding, maybe. All right, three warriors is a little bit scarier. Kill one right now. Actually, we can kill two, I think, with the scout helping out. Oh, he didn't kill it. No, scout. Looked like you were going to, but did not get the kill.
Uh, I mean, I would love to prove three tiles. We don't have, we're not in position to do that right a second. We'll start working on drama and poetry, and then we'll come back and get those later. Uh, honestly, Victor is going to be kind of relevant right this second. Really would like to kill all these units to make sure they don't can't do anything against us here. Uh, I guess you're going to move up there. You're going to kill this thing. I know you got a promotion, but we got to hold off. You're going to heal up. You're going to fortify, continue to fortify. You're going to move up and well, actually just move you up to there. Oh, hello. I said no, I think we need one more warrior. For him to be feel safer. We're already about half of his military strength, which is exactly where I'd like to be. Um, I feel that's a pretty good safe spot. Incendiaries is good if we're going to go attack him, but I think we're going to just defend in and just piece him out here in a bit. Hopefully, uh, Woland's going to help us out a little bit here. Um... You got a trader up to Wallen, but I think we got to get the one to Encore what instead. Get a little bit of a road through there just to make things a little bit easier for us. All right, we have killed a bunch of his units. There's a good chance as soon as we're able to, he will piece us out. No, he won't. Yep, not yet. All right, fair enough. I mean, Oracle is a very nice wonder. <laughs> uh, let's get a builder. We need to get some stuff improved. I mean, he's going to have to buy units at this point, and there's no way he gets through us with what we got going on. I mean, I would love to take this, but I think we've got to defend out a little bit longer. Yeah, I mean, he's not, he's not getting through this. We are very defensive here. This is actually a really, really good start for the guy that we have. And plus, he's not... He doesn't have any good early units, right? His unit is what? Oh, I forget Molly's unit. Oh, yeah, the cavalry. Yeah! Well, he's got a knight unit. It's going to be good for his traders, but it's not going to come until quite, quite a bit later. Oh, he did buy some units. Is this Jerusalem? Oh, Nazca. Nazca finally showed up. That's kind of funny. I think I'm actually going to kill the scout. Just Get rid of it, because he'll probably kill himself against us here. Mm, this archer is going to be in trouble if it sticks around. Is this a hill? That is a hill. So you can come back here. Still get a shot on that thing. You're going to stay fortified here. That's fine. All right, I'm much happier with the way this is going right now. He's literally just going to keep coming at us and dying, isn't he? Coming across the river onto a hill. I think you're safe. You're going to keep fortifying. You got both of these units. Nope, not quite. We will go ahead and take the kill, though. All right, Scott, you're safe to go explore. We got this covered, my friend. I mean, we've almost got as much military strength as he does now, and that's after he bought some units, so you would think he would peace out soon. We could come up here and start messing with his city. I mean, he started this. I mean, these barbarians up here are going to be causing us some trouble. I'm going to actually move you up here to see if you can distract or do something. I mean, at some point, we're going to want to chop the stone. I think we go ahead and hook up this stone. And then... Maybe this one over here, because it's not as relevant. We'll figure it out. Take your promotion, I guess. Mm, it's not great. I think we're going to take... I don't really like this attack either. It's going to leave him very weak. we got to get the archer out. He's going to die if he doesn't. And I don't want to lose an archer for no reason.
Um, let's go and get the granary. Why don't we keep growing tall where we can? He's coming. He's still got units from Daska. Writing is easy. I mean, this is safe now, so we'll do that. Just get rid of that out, out of the way. You should be able to defend off one more attack, so we will just fortify you a tick. Now we haven't killed the three barbarians yet. <laughs> We're about to. I'm surprised, still surprised we haven't killed all three of them. We will grab... Work towards currency. Let's grab a little bit of irrigation here. We're going to need it eventually anyway. All right, there we go. We got a third barbarian there. Didn't really save us much, but whatever. Just to remind you, sir, you started this. So I'm going to go over there and do what I can against your city. I doubt I can do much, but we're going to try. I do need to get the plantations going. We're not going to be able to farm a resource, are we? No, we just got to push through the plantations automatically, or all the way through. In fact, I don't even think we bother setting up this other stone. I want to get at least two of these plantations set up right away. So we're just going to park you over here on the coffee, get ready to go. Oh, not you, but I guess the archer can protect you. <laughs> Wasn't really what I was trying to do. silent on the subject of cheese. I mean, do you want to piece me out now? You really don't. You are annoying, sir. I'm going to push towards incendiaries at this point. I tried to be nice to you my friend, but you just won't let me. All right, what's that? I mean, we definitely want to get the holy side up pretty soon. Doesn't really matter where it's at as long as it's near a river. Like the plus three. I also like the plus four over here. So actually, what we want to do is get us another builder to chop that wood, that forest. All right, start pushing up the granary. I think our military force is strong enough to do what we need to do here if we need to do something. A bit of a bottleneck here. I mean, this is... It's going to be one unit at a time. We're going to have a couple archers back here pinging against him, so... Should be okay, but I'll have to keep an eye on things. Oh, we actually have a fire. I mean, in the long run, that's good for us. Short run, it's not great. Now, we are blocking this warrior in here a bit by doing it this way, but should be okay for the moment.
unfortunately if we do leave you here that's going to leave the opening for the cavalry to come through and kill us so probably going to back you off so the warrior can get out a little bit go ahead and take the kill though maybe next turn swap you around to push this warrior to the front instead uh you're probably gonna have to come around this top side so let's just move you around that way probably this both of those archers actually might need to go that way one turn on irrigation that's gonna be good go back to exploration we can stop him over here. We've got a lot of open space back here that we can just settle in. Oh, you're actually going to piece me out finally. You know what? I will take your gold and your piece. And I, because I don't really, I'm not trying to beat up on you. <laughs> I actually just want to be friends. But no. All right. We got a lot of units, which is costing us a lot of money. But that's all right. All right. We do want to chop this forest here. Warrior. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Where do we want to go? Um, Kind of want to spread you guys out so we can limit the barbarians that are close by. So more than likely, we're going to put a warrior down over here. This warrior is going to be kind of over here, maybe. Uh, this archer is going to be kind of up here. I'll put one archer in each city. And this warrior is going to move up somewhere up here. Just to get some more vision, push out the barbarian stuff a little bit more than usual. All right, I really want to go with settlers, but I kind of feel like we need to push towards the thing that's going to get us settlers the fastest, which is the government plaza and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we do also want to get the holy site, but we're going to wait for this chop before we do that. So let's go ahead and just chop out a monument, I guess. Hanging gardens would be pretty good. But again, we need the chop for that as well. I mean, hangars would be pretty awesome. It's just going to get rid of my, my thing, and I don't want to get rid of that right now. But it means the chop can go towards the hanging gardens, is the, th is the difference. Oh, we can build hanging gardens way up here somewhere. Um, Would that be better? Yeah, we, that means we don't waste the chop. That is better. That is better, I think. Uh, which spot do we want to put it in? I'm trying to think of where I could put like a... I'll probably put it here because we can put a theater square next to it, maybe. All right, we'll do that. That means we can still chop out that. You've got one build left. I'm actually going to have you chop as well. because I'd like to get the Hanger Gardens out, if at all possible. It's going to be hard. Everybody goes for the hand gardens. We don't have um, Magnus. We're not going to get Magnus anytime soon. How much is the hand gardens production total? 180. So 238 chops would put us at 100. So, I mean, it's close. Maybe I'll hold off on the chop for just a moment. Until we know that we're close enough to kind of chop out both. That way we're not wasting the chops or something else. Okay, I'm going to do that. Um, you're going down there. Archer, just chill here for a second. So we got both uh, Cliffs of Dover tiles. That's good. It's really good. Oh, no. That just lost us our chop. Boo. I mean, it's fine. It's a little annoying, but we'll just chop down here then, I guess. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Sorry, warrior. <laughs> I did not realize you hadn't moved yet. I mean, plus one production, all cities will give us a little bit more production right now. Sure. Save off one turn there. Still need to get one more tile improved.
So it's 38 and 38 still. Um, so it puts us at 96, so it's 146. It's so close. I think we're going to have to miss craftsmanship, unfortunately, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get over here in time to, set, to improve. So, well, no, that's not right. I can improve that real quick. And still get back in time to, to chop, I think. I might eventually want to get rid of the stone, but for now, this will actually be okay. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in. Actually, right now would be a good time to do the chop, I think. We're not going to, we might be one turn late. It's actually 39 production now. Yeah, we just need to get you back over here and then both chop next turn. So it's actually going to be two more turns, unfortunately. Oof. Yeah, we might lose it by a turn. All right, you're just going to alert here, I think. I think this is a pretty safe spot. Gets a little bit of vision. You're still chilling. You are going to just alert here, I believe. It's going to be okay. We got a lot of stuff up here we got to alert on. I think we wait. Because there's always a chance we lose this next turn. Which, I, in fact, I can almost guarantee you we're going to lose this next turn. Oh, Portugal's coming down. No, go away. We want all this land. Stay away, Portugal. Stay away. Um, I think there's a good chance that he uh, that, that we lose this next turn. But if we don't, we've got, we've got it in double chops. So we will be patient. When wasteful war All right, we don't. And we actually, yeah, we'll get it in double chops here. Let's chop that. And chop that. The ascent to the highest story is by stairs, and at their side are water engines, by means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. So our cities that are hopefully going to already have lots of housing are going to grow pretty tall. How much on our... We don't have anything we can get yet, do we? We do not... Now we got to get some more settlers growing here very, very, very soon. Oh, hello there. Well, at least we know we're safe over here as far as like there's no connecting landmass. I really need to get some settlers up this line, but I want to get the government plaza here in a turn. Oh, now he's going to come for us. I hope not. All right, what we got going on here? Um, Oh, unit maintenance. Uh, no, we still got barbarians to deal with. Let's deal with those first. And then we'll keep the production going for now. I think this is fine. Pairing. Oh, who do we want? Um, I mean, Magnus, probably Magnus, right? Be able to get up to where settlers are effectively free. And I think we're going to go ahead and put the government plaza down. You know, I just realized if I'd put this up here, we could have put a, we could have gotten rid of the rice and put a theater square between the two. Eh, retrospect, it's all right. We're going to put a holy site here. So honestly, any one of these three tiles would be fine. Probably down here for the government plaza. Although, no, don't we get something bonus if it's next to the city? No, okay, never mind. It must be, it must be the uh, the other the other plaza thingy. All right, I think we'll put it down here. It's gonna be we are gonna need Li, uh, what's his name, Liang down here eventually.
I have a chance for something over here, but I'm hoping Wolin can... I'm not sure if they count for pushing out borders or pushing out a barbarian potential spawns. Might have preferred to hook up the coffee just so we can trade it away. All right, about to get our government plaza. Getting a trade route to Wallen wouldn't be bad. Plus, it gives us a road up this direction or Brussels. Probably Brussels because it's a little bit further, a little bit of a longer road. Two turns on political philosophy. That's just enough time to finish the monument. We can get Liang. I think we're going to grab... Well, we don't have another city yet, so there's no point in doing anything. Oh, no, that's right. We want to we want to upgrade our dude first. That's right. So we want to grab provision. Oh, you got another settler. I mean, the good news is we can be very tall, so... A few cities is still okay for us, but we may have to go to war against him and deal with him very, very soon. Politics is the Be nice if you went this way, my friend, but I have a feeling they've got it baked into their their uh, code that just says, "Hey, where's the where's the human player? All right, settle towards them, even if we have lots of land up here to settle up. <laughs> Always settle towards the human player." It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, we gotta get our government first, and then we can grab that. Um, probably classical republic. I'm gonna want settlers soon, but it's not quite time yet. Do still have a couple that we can send one envoy to. Now let's grab the gold for the trade route. All right, now you can produce the uh, ancestral hall. Eight turns. Oof! Can't buy that, can we? No, we cannot. I'd like your holy site to be over here next to it. Oh, it's going to be right next to the city. I didn't even think about that. You'll have to settle up. One, two. Yeah, you'll have to grab this tile at some point. And chop that. Okay. Then in that case, we're going to need a builder here. Coupe. Hello. How about you settle over here? I'm okay with that. I can leave these two for me. <laughs> like a couple spots up here for me, please. Nope. You're going to settle right there. Apparently we are putting pressure on you, though. I doubt that's going to be very long. Are you in a dark age or something? No, just a normal. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. Still too, too soon for settlers. I mean, as much as I'd like to leave you here, probably should move you over here just to get some vision. Give me 19 gold for open water. You know what? Whatever. That's fine.
wealth consists not Structures way up here. We're not going to have an iron mine, are we? I just realized. We are not. Wow. That's a little bit bad. But we'll make it work. I'm not going to have a pasture either. It's unusual to not have either. Wow. I think if I move you over here to this hill, we get slightly better vision in this area. I have to finish games of wreck straight up because we do need to get the uh, civic change. All right, I think it's time to build settlers. Uh, can we buy one? We can buy one. Let's buy our first one. And then we'll build after that. Could have you get more growth as well. But I think at this point we want Liang somewhere. We'll just grab her. We'll appoint her as soon as we get this new city. Um, all right, we got to figure out where we're going to try and place these cities to push back on him a little bit. Um, we've got to we got to stack them in here as tight as possible. So I think definitely a city here. And then I think one, two, three, four, somewhere over here. Could be on this side, so we keep the maze. That's probably okay. One, two, three, four, maybe down here. We're not going to have it next to a river. Just un not ideal. Probably a little bit closer to the coast then. Uh, maybe right on the rice and then we'll still leave one over here. Yeah, it would have to be the rice unless I move this city back up. Actually, that's probably the better move. Yeah, let's put you in the jungle tile here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That tech, I want that tech. And then you're going to delete and you're going to move back up to where we do. We, we could place you, but I was going to move you down a little bit just to be, just to kind of have something. But you can still get to the coast there. So that gets us a ring of cities around here. One, two, three, four. We can put another city down here for sure. Two, three, four, somewhere over here, maybe right on this. Or just, I mean, honestly, it's the last city, so it wouldn't matter where I put it. Could put it across the water or across the river. And that'll be fine. All right. And I think we go in that order around this way. Because I think if he's going to settle anywhere, it's going to be up in these two spots. Technically, I think there was another spot up here, way up here, but that's going to be a little bit hard. Could we have fit an extra city in here anywhere? No, I don't think so. No, it's not really an easy way to set it. fit an extra city in here. No, not really. But like we're t one tile short of fitting one more city in there somewhere, I think. All right, that's okay. We'll get this settler. Going to here, and then we'll get the next settler in five turns going to there. And then once we get those two cities, we can move our way around. I, we do have to be a little bit worried because I do think Portugal could come after us very soon. We'll take your gold. Plus, he's got missionaries out and about already as well. All right, might as well get one envoy to Nazca since it'll count for double. We need to get our um, 
Oh, we don't have the holy site yet. You're getting the holy site. Oh, you don't have a holy site yet either. That's right. You're going to chop to get your holy site. We do need to get a holy site, though, because we don't want to lose our religion again. <laughs> Ugh. We need to build everything. I think once we get these two cities, we might pause for a holy site. If bread is the first necessity of life. All right, so you are going to chop that uh, as soon as you can get up there or a holy site. So in the meantime, I guess we go for either a monument or walls. Let's go for a monument. The normal age. We're not building a pasture, so we'll just finish horseback riding. Coupe. Hey, we did get the job one. We got one point for that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Nice. All right, we're going to chop that. Although that was going to be a uh, theater square at one point, but that's okay. No! I hate you, Poland, with the passion. Because you're going to come over here and block my spot. I mean, we're literally... <sighs> we're going to be... He's going to settle one turn before we can get there. Can we block him at all? Where's the only place he can settle? He can settle. If we settle, if we move our warrior here, it would take him two turns. It'll take us two turns. Okay, I think that's the move. Move our warrior there. I think. I don't want. Oh no, he can settle right here. Poop. No, he can just move around, around past me and settle right there, which is exactly what he's gonna do. Oh, that's so, so sad. That is sad. <laughs> one turn away. Same thing with Germany in the last game. It's always one turn. It wouldn't be that big of a deal if it wasn't always one turn away. I think he gets there before us though, doesn't he? At this point. Cause he moves he moves this next turn. I can't block him. And no matter where I move, I can't block him. Man, that's that's garbage. The only chance I would have is if I was able to move it there. But that's a hill tile, so it's not gonna matter. He settles a turn before I can get there. It's a shame. Or he declares war on me and grabs my settler here in a second, which is also very possible. Uh, if I move back, it doesn't. It won't make it. Well, no, let's just stay here. He's probably going to grab my settler here in a moment, but if he does, at least I tried. Tried to get where we needed to be. I mean, he settles on the tobacco, right? He, he takes the tobacco spot and annoys me. I assume he settles tobacco. If he does try to move here, we got a good chance. But if he moves Settles Tobacco, then... I mean, there was nothing. <laughs> One turn away. One turn away. All right, you can sign here. Mm 
We can get Johannesburg on our side. Or Brussels. Or Kamasi. Well, not Kamasi yet. And Nazca flipped. I don't know. We might move Amani to Johannesburg. Let's get us something here. All right. He settles on the tobacco or right now, right? Yes. I hope he moves one more time, but I bet he settles the tobacco. Yep, of course he does. Of course he does. I'm, I actually want to declare war. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Declare war. Die, die, die. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid, but that's okay. Oh, I'm so mad. That's what I did. I'm mad. Why are you at 35 strength? That doesn't make much sense to me. You must have crossbowmen. Yes, it was stupid to declare war, but I was mad. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh my goodness, these games will never... Like, I just one turn away from going my way, and I'm everything's just smooth sailing after that. Not that these games need to be smooth sailing, but it's like, really? One turn. Just give me one turn. Wait, is Wallen yours? Oh, Wallen's yours. I'm I'm in trouble. I did not realize Wallen was yours. I'm okay with this attack if Wallen's not yours. But if Wallen is yours, we are dead. Wolin. Wolin is the only reason we're not going to be able to put pressure on the city. A city state. Of course it is. Sounds about right. That's about how my games go these days. They're just... Oh, not. I didn't mean to move you there. I meant to move you there. <laughs> Some builders just floating about in the water. That's pretty funny, actually. All right, we're going to just move you guys up at this point. Come on. Uh, you're going to have to start doing some military units at this point.
Half percent extra wire at 35 strength. That's really weird. Oh, Johannesburg's on our side. Well, hello there. You can keep him busy a little bit. We had swordmen, but we don't have the ability to get swordmen. Brussels yours? Of course Brussels is yours with the man at arms. Of course it has a man at arms. Of course it does. <laughs> of course you have man at arms. Because why wouldn't you? We had one envoy we could flip Brussels. Not gonna happen though. History is the version of past events that people have. Is there anything else we can plug in here to make make a difference? I mean, we can plug in production, but we just don't have that much. Nah, go without it. Um, I mean, we're dead. Like this archer's dead. This archer's dead. Everybody's dead. I mean, if it was just Portugal that we were fighting, I think we could take the city. But because it's Portugal and his city-states, there is just no way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we need to resign you. Well, not really anywhere to resign you right now, so never mind. I'll just promote you up to emissary. Get a little bit of loyalty push, behind, you know, around us. And of course you have man-at-arms as well, because why wouldn't you?
<laughs> well, we're going to kill some city-state units, and that is all we're going to get out of this war. The scout, please. I will, I, will let, I will let you kill the scout. That will be fine with me. <laughs> Say no for now, but it's good to know that you would piece me out at some point. Oh, of course, you got to heal. I didn't think barbarians could get rid of cities. I don't know why. I feel like they've never... Yeah, I've had barbarians sit next to my cities many times and do nothing about it. I've never seen a barbarian take a city before. <laughs> and that's with... I have played thousands of hours, like over a thousand hours of Civilization VI, and I've never seen a barbarian take a city before. I just assume they knock the walls or knock the city down to zero health and then don't do anything about it. I've genuinely never seen a barbarian take a city before. Ever. That's so weird. with the heart. Some you're building walls. Yeah, you're building walls. So the turn the turn before I take the city, he will have his walls up. Guaranteed.
you give me the city, I will peace you out. I mean, Johannesburg saved us a little bit here, too, though. I'll be honest. As much as I'm complaining about these city-states, Johannesburg has kept him busy over there. I mean, I do still have a couple more settlers I need to get out here in a bit. I'm just going to get us an archer here, I think. Maybe. I don't know if we can get it close enough to deal with the city or not, or help, help attack the city or not. Not with all the, the woods around. We'll try. All right, we're like one turn away from it, so he will get his walls this next turn. Can almost guarantee it. All right, we can flip Wolin to be our side. Is that what we want to do? Not our side, but at least be neutral. Probably okay to flip no just just to make sure this guy doesn't cause us any problems. Or we wait until he gets closer and then we think he's about to cause problems, and we can flip either him or Brussels. That's probably the better move. Flip whichever one of them looks like it's about to, to, to attack us. Alright, fair enough. We are at a position right now. Well, he didn't get walls yet. We are about to die here. I mean, I kind of want to just pillage this so we can put our own city here. <laughs> we'll give him more grievances, but that's not where I wanted to build a city. I mean, it's a fine place to put a city. But we're not going to be able to keep it, right? Yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to keep it. All right, now we'll piece you up, if you will. Yep, looks good to me. Got rid of your city. Now we still got to get our settler up there. Um, obviously, we've got him to deal with now. Which we can just go ahead and buy us another archer over here. Help defend this side of things. Oh goodness, if we can get through this, we're fine. Man, what a what a mess. What a mess. Mm, got a catapult. Might actually cause us some trouble down here. And I'm glad we got the walls. It's going to help a lot. We're not at war with any city-states, are we? Uh, Nazca and Kamasi, but they are not close to us.
You know, those, uh, oh, he's got men at arms. Of course he does. Ah, we lost the city. Nothing we can do about it. I want a scout, I want a traitor. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. Traitor. And we almost got back down here in time. Not quite. I mean, how did you get here so fast? What? I mean, I get the road, but you weren't on a road. I'm confused. Oh. Not having iron or horses is really painful. I mean, I actually will look elsewhere at this point. Catapults now. I mean, we're going to be able to get swordmen. We'd have to buy iron, though. And swordmen are so much weaker than men at arms. Really need to be able to push this loyalty further down. Have a chance of anything here. If we can get past this war, we actually might be alright. It's not going to be easy.
Oh, and I got distracted again. Oh my goodness, I am so struggling with this stupid game. I've never struggled this hard. What is it about Khmer that is making me struggle hard? Oh my goodness, what is it about Khmer? I have no idea. I've never struggled this hard in this game. It's because I have a certain plan. Usually I'm just very flexible and I just go with the flow and I'm like, whatever. If, if I lose my religion, I lose my religion. If I don't get a religion, I don't get a religion. If I do, you know, X, Y, Z, then X, Y, Z happens. No big deal. I have a specific plan of how I want to play Khmer and everything that I'm doing is messing it up. So because I'm trying to be very rigid with my plan, it's I'm, I'm just making mistake after mistake after mistake. I mean, I'm assuming these guys can just one shot you if they move up and attack you, but we'll move you up anyway. I have a very, very specific way I want to do this, and it's just not working. This is actually a really good start, too. It's a really good place of, that we could have, if we had not had to deal with all these wars, we could have just settled in, and everything would have been perfect. I mean, this heavy chariot's going to die, but kind of just exist to eat a shot or something. Oh, you went that way. Apparently, there's other people that agree with me. Goodness gracious, we met everybody. And it did pass. Coupe and Zhao actually both agree with me. Even though Zhao hates me, he's like, yeah, we, we'll, we'll come help you with this. That's surprising. Hmm. Nope, you have to give Angkor a walk back. Hmm. Nope, you have to give Angkor a walk back. <laughs> it won't do it, huh? You have to give me all your cities. Hmm. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Hmm. Do we actually have to have Angkor Wat? Oh, I see what's happening. It it's automatically goes there once I close it out over here. Oh, I don't care about that one then. Oh, because of Angkor Wat. That's fine. All right, never mind. Oh no, he's got some bike wing coming to kill my heavy chariots. I mean, I'm not doing any damage to him. I'm just trying to be a nuisance <laughs> at this point. I'm just trying to be a nuisance.
Of course, there's a barbarian encampment here. I'm assuming you're going to have some super advanced units. No, you have to give this back. Hmm. I mean, I know you never will. Johannesburg coming down with some crossbowmen is pretty big. The Lord made this all out Too bad we don't have a way to get swordmen. But again, swordmen are not strong enough. I need to make sure we secure Johannesburg at this point. Or is there another city state we could flip to make, you know, make him angry? It doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna put a couple more points in Johannesburg just to try to make sure we, we secure that. I mean, if we ever got our crossbowmen, we might actually be able to do some damage here, in theory. About to have walls up though. Yep, pikemen. I mean, not as advanced as I was ex expecting, to be honest. It's all papers and forms. The entire civil service is like a fortress. I mean, we could change to something like this. Don't know if that really helps us out that much, to be honest. If it helped with our range units, maybe. I don't even want anything from him. I just want my city back. Oh, look. Here comes Portugal. Oh, my. Portugal's going to come down with a bunch of units. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's move you up. Move you in. I guess we're going to kill this dude over here. Portugal's coming to the rescue after we took his stuff, which is really funny. Oh, he's actually got his units now. Hmm. Oh, go away. Don't give me my city back. I'm not saying yes. We got friends coming down to help us. So you're, this is your, you're, you dug this. You're going to have to live with it. Oh, you're not going to be able to get it from there. Is that really true? And we're going to have to come up and swap you over here with this archer. Just build a quadrine. Okay. I mean, it is 
gonna help. Don't get me wrong. It will hurt us. Actually, you must have bought it because you're still building walls. Or is that my walls that are like ruined or something like that? It might be my walls. Come on, crossbowman. Come down and help me out. There's an army coming down to help us. Oh, it's funny. It's probably not going to matter. It's probably way too little too late, but it's it's funny. I'm 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 biding my time till Portugal comes down here and messes you up a little bit, my friend. <laughs> Just saying. You might kill every single unit I got, which is fine. But I'm going to sit here and watch you also die. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm finding joy in this in a big way. All right, you got to back off. You've got to get back somewhere so you can get an upgrade. Mm I mean, nothing we get over here is going to matter. We need iron for all of it. I got our Dom Rays. Did I say Dom Rays? I think, it's, I think I called my religion the wrong thing. It's Dom Rays. Did I call my religion the wrong thing? I think I spelled it wrong. Oh, no, I did. I did Dom Rays. Okay. Our Dom Rays are really strong if we ever got those around. <laughs> Here comes Portugal. Oh, it's so good. I love that Portugal's my friend all of a sudden. I'm sure he's getting his own like benefit out of it, so that's why, but it's just funny. You gotta give me my city back, buddy. You started this, my friend. You're gonna have to live with it. Catapults are not very strong. Weirdly, I'm enjoying this, even though it's it's all going down. It, it's going to be really hard to recover from this. I'm not going to lie, but I'm still enjoying the uh, the effects of it.
wonder if they give this back to me or not. If they take it. <laughs> He's starting to beat up on my units now. So, or not my units, uh, Portugal's units now. So, he is actually, he's actually doing some damage here. Yeah, he's actually coming out here. He's looking stronger now. Uh, crossbowman down there is going to wreck our world. I'm trying to bring this archer down to deal with this thing, but I'm not going to be able to now. We get a crossbowman ourselves. Need some sort of melee unit that could take the city if we do in fact get it low enough. Thank you for getting in the water. Oh, you didn't die. I have to waste an attack on you just to kill you. Uh, Portugal left. Portugal bugged out. You bailed on me. There are very honest people. Right as we were about to get this thing low enough to actually matter. Uh, we start losing units again, but like I guess that I don't really care at this point. I've kind of given up. But I just thought it'd be fun to see if we can get the city back at all. I'm going to sit on the governor title, but I actually don't know what I'm going to use it on. Portugal, why'd you bail? I mean, I guess you lost some units. He's got so many of these units now. Oh, I could attack there. I didn't realize that. Well, we almost had a chance. I thought Portugal was going to get it for us. They just couldn't quite do it. I and mean, we could piece him out, and we could still try to make this work. But my goodness, that's going to be annoying that he has this city. I and mean, we could flip it through loyalty later. Always a possibility. 
So we are going to have some pretty tall cities. Alrighty. Fine, you win. Hmm. We'll see if we can flip back through loyalty later. Alrighty. Well, hopefully people like leave us alone. <laughs> Just leave us alone. Let me get my last couple cities out here. Leave us alone. We will leave you alone. Oh, but we lost our religion. I still don't want to continue this game because we lost our stupid religion. <laughs> ah, so frustrating. I just want the religion so I can have the food and the housing and grow really tall. Is that too much to ask for? I mean, we don't need it. Like, I'm, I'm being, I'm being a little bit, you know, doing things that we don't really need. We don't need the grow tall to be able to do what we're gonna do. But it's, <laughs> but I want it. <laughs> I wanted it. It was going to make me very happy to have all that set up. Man, I really want to have the food. Like, I just, it, it's like, it's one of those situations where, yes, I could win the game with what we got again. <laughs> but that defeats the point of me trying to just have really tall, fun cities. I'll play it out for the stream. I'll probably do. I will probably restart it for next stream, though. I'm going to figure out a way to keep Khmer's religion. And then by that, I mean not get distracted by other things, which I do get distracted very easily. What a hiccup. I don't even want the Watts. I mean, yeah, the Watts are nice because they give you science. It's boring. Science is boring. At this point, I need to just win just to prove that I can win this way. Even That way, if I do restart, it'll be just like, all right, look, I'm restarting because I want to, not because I like couldn't win the other way. So I probably will just, I will finish this game out and then I'm going to be sad about it. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, someday I will do a, a tall Khmer. Wow. You're seriously about to come over and settle where I want to settle. Actually, I need to change you over to settlers. So I already got two farms next to it, which would be beneficial. So we get one less faith, but we've already got the farms next to it, which I think is a good idea. Where did it go? Oh, I was like, where did it go, George? Um, yep, you're going to come over here and be annoying, Coupe. Thank you. Although I'd assume you would have an immediate loyalty issues. All right, we need to spread our stuff back out again just so we can uh, protect, kind of protect our cities a little bit. I have a Domries, which means we could go to 
We could definitely take out some cities with those. Like, dude. Like, why? 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 I'm tempted to declare war on you, except we're friends. I would if we could, but we're friends. Hopefully we just get it through loyalty then. Do we have Niter? Wow! I've never had a game this bad on strategic resources. Usually you have at least something. Like having nothing is crazy. Wow, that is that is quite unusual. I'm assuming you're about to settle the city over here. I'm hoping we'll have the loyalty to push it, push back on it, though. Just don't settle it over, close enough where I can't settle this one down here, please. Or are you going to just go into the water? No, you're about to settle on the rice. Almost guarantee it. All right, what kind of trade routes do you want? With? Gold trade routes. Let's go for that. I'm going to wait to start on the last settler until I see if he's about to settle there. Because I don't think we have any other spots, right? We just have this one and that one. And that's it. So, yeah, if he settles that spot, then, then it's not going to help us. So, we'll just go ahead and do the theater square for now. Go ahead and build it. I'm assuming you're about to build it. Wait, I have Niter? I must be I must be sitting on it. Oh, no, you did go into the water. Yay, we can't settle our last city. We can't go around arresting. I mean, I'm disappointed about the religion. I think we can we're gonna make this work. We'll just we'll just figure it out. It's disappointing. I was gonna have fun having really tall cities, but it is okay. Just don't come back and be like weird. All right, I guess we're going to go for the Watts, or I guess we can buy the Watts with Faith. We'll just get a little bit of science from that, which honestly means we probably don't have to build as many campuses, if any at all. All right, we do want to chop that, because we want to be able to put the theater square next to it. So you get all our cities up to 20 pop. 20 pop is what our, is our goal. It's not going to be easy, but we'll work on it. Uh, let's put you in. Oh, you know what? I just realized you were not in Anchor Tom to keep us from losing pop, but that's all right. What we can do is we can take a moment, do that for a tick, and then you'll be established before we put out that last setter at least. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hate me. Don't don't come declare war on me. I'm trying to be nice now. I promise. I need to spend gold on. Unit upgrades just to look bigger. No, I'm not joint warring Zhao. That defeats the whole point of what I'm trying to do here. We might get it back eventually. Ooh, we can get a Domri right now. Boom. Come at me. Come at me. I got my Domri's. Um, <laughs> 73. We're probably going to be in a Dark Age soon. I'm going to do the settler now.
I already have two governor titles available. Might actually push you up to puppeteer. I think we're going to promote you up to surplus logistics as well. That way we can kind of pass you around to cities until they get to 20 pop. That's actually probably a good idea. Sure, I'll settle elsewhere, but I'm assuming this is going to be too close to you. I conclude then this point. Could get an alliance with somebody. We might as well. Do we not have 25 gold? Why can't we send a delegation? I'm confused. Uh, who's good on research right now? Zulu. And then, of course, Lady Six guy. That would make sense. And then Lautaro. So, yeah. Can we... What is going on? Hey, Goat Ghosty, how's it going? All right, let's try to at least get an alliance with you of some sort. Yeah, I'm not sure why we can't talk to Lautaro. There we go. That was so weird. We must have had a pending discussion with him or something. All right, so we got a couple alliances. That'll help a little bit. An entertainment complex could help us flip the city as well. Plus, putting an entertainment com complex next to a theater square would be pretty good as well. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you here. I'm going to plan to chop that. Put the, we'll put the entertainment complex down first, just because it can help us right the second. And we'll put the theater square down later. I think we're going to chop this right here as well. I think Tom picking up Chichen Itza would actually be pretty decent. I need you to work on something that's just kind of like something. Like not nothing that we need to care, we care about right this second. So I guess work on a builder. It's always a good chop target. He's going to fix this before we get it. Without I know that. But we can hope. We'll be friends with you. Actually, I would rather have a, uh, a uh, research alliance with you, but that's all right. I mean, we'll say yes. I'm not really going to try to help you out, but I just don't want to be excluded from it. All right, so now you can put down the entertainment complex. Do you want to put farms around our holy site here? Pretty sure we want this to be a holy site since we're going to have a couple farms next to it anyway. No, we were not joint warring today. Actually, I need to chop this one as well. Right. 
It's a hill tile though, isn't it? So I might want to put a mud. You know, what? I'm gonna chop that first, and then figure it out from there. Settler, come do this, please. Uh, just horseman, just chill over there with him. We can definitely make this work. Still disappointed about the religion, but we can definitely make this work. Oh, we don't have uh, farms and hills yet, so that's all right. Do the farm, I guess, back there. Since we are going to have uh, the holy site. Actually, we just finished the holy site. Perfect. Your square there, yep. Let's go for builder first. Um, do we, let's just go through our guys and make sure we don't have any missing, uh, watts since we're going to have to deal with the fact that, yeah, just the one up here that we don't have yet. All right. Sounds good. Actually watched you for a little bit. Go ghosty. Uh, I think it was a pre-recorded one, but I was watching you do a little bit of a, it's FIFA. Well, not FIFA, but you know what I mean. The FC or EAF, whatever it's called now. And then I watched a little bit of your F1 racing as well. One of your recent streams that I missed. I mean, I missed the stream, but I watched the recording. All right, so that's chopped. I mean, mine's over here would be pretty good. Let's do that. Get us another city, and all will be well with the world. Still disappointed, but <laughs> I'll be okay. Oh, get us the religion. One, two, three, four. You know, six cities. We'll make them tall. We'll make some tall, tall cities here. I need to do a little bit of chopping here so I can put some farms next to this guy. Alright, so you finished the amphitheater. We can do Chosenisa, which is interesting. If I put Chosenisa here, then the theater square there will get a little bit of bonus. Yeah, why not? Let's try for it. My promise is broken. That's not near you. That's on the other side of me. Oh, I hate that little little thing there. I wish that was not a the way that worked. Sorry, everybody's going to hit me no matter what I do. All right, we got to make ourselves look a little bit stronger here. Hmm. Right, we do bread and circuses. We'll get some more loyalty pressure here. Hopefully we can flip that sooner. We'll get our city back. There's nothing he can do about it. Except come to war. <laughs> oh, now he's going to bring his religion in. I gotcha. Y'all can have the religion fight now. I've given up. I give up on the religion fight. Hey, your housing's going to be pretty good with all those farmers around the holy site here. Oh, we need to swap off ship building. I can get a couple galleys pretty quickly. We're in a dark age, though. Which might mean it's impossible for us to get this now. No, it's actually still going. I mean, he's about to declare war on me again, right? I'm assuming. Actually, he's in a good position to be able to get that back here pretty quickly. 
He just wants open borders. All right, you can come. Oh, no, he's going to give me open borders. That's unexpected. Do we have a way to get a great artist right now? Eventually, but I don't think we're going to hold off. We're not building an encampment, though, so we can go ahead and grab that. What was the builder for? <laughs> I was going to do something with you. Put something here, maybe? Yeah, theater square. Of course you are. Yeah, yeah, you're a, you're a jerk. That's what you are. Just a jerk. Keep going. Yeah, a lot of units. No easy way to, if it's natural to kill. Now I got rid of one of your bombards. I mean, the rest of your stuff's pretty strong still. I mean, the Corsair is the strongest unit we got. It's not as strong as his stuff, but it's the strongest thing we got. I brought Brussels away from you, at least. See how that feels, my friend. No, you're not even worried. <laughs> you're about to take my city. Well, you know what? I was kind of bummed out about this run anyway. Uh, we were starting to turn it around a little bit. So I was feeling a little bit better. But I was kind of generally not feeling great about it. Right, go ahead, take the capital. Come on, my friend. You can do it. Oh, goodness. Why do people hate us? All right, well, that's going to be it. I have no idea. I'm having more trouble with... Again, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to play a specific way. That's what's causing me to have the trouble. I need to, I need to decide if I'm either going to just stick with it and try to play this way and figure it out or just be completely flexible and just ignore it <laughs> and just just ignore the way I want to play it's it's I know it's better just ignore trying to do something specifically just just figure out what I can do all right well we're gonna go ahead and put a cut in there when we come back next stream We'll be starting Khmer again. What is this? Fourth, fifth time to start Khmer. And this time I'm from the get go. I'm just going to accept that we are not going to be able to play it the way I want to play it. And we'll just have to accept that we're going to be able to, we're going to, um, just take things as they come. I was, I was trying to play a certain way. I was trying to go tall, trying to do all that stuff, but it's just not going to work out.
not gonna work out. But we'll just we'll just be more flexible next time. And just accept the things that they come. Alright. Well, I appreciate everybody coming out. Uh we'll figure out Khmer. <laughs> I've already beat Khmer. That's my problem. I've already beaten the game with Khmer, and I'm trying to do something different. Uh But we'll figure it out next time. But anyway, thanks for everyone coming up, and uh, may God bless you, and I hope you join me again.